Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas, Volume 4, I believe. Wow. Day 2. Uh, day 2 we're going to be talking about Gremlins. One that I'm actually surprised I never reviewed. Uh, Gremlins is a 1984 film, which runs approximately 106 minutes, and is directed by Joe Dante. He was responsible for Inner Space, The Howling, and Small Soldiers. Now, this stars Zach Galligan as Billy, Phoebe Cates as Kate, Hoyt Auten as Randall Peltzer. Now, the budget on this was $11 million, and this, wow, this had a worldwide gross of $153,611,000. $143. Wow. Now, Joe Dante himself prefers Gremlins 2, and I know a lot of other people do as well. And he always wondered the reason why people like this film so much. Because it's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, I'll give a brief synopsis about Gremlins. I'm sure everybody's seen it. If you haven't, please go watch this film. It's so much fun. And yes, I do consider this a horror film. Uh, Gremlins is about... You have a family where the father's an inventor, and he wants to pick up his son something special for Christmas. So he ends up in a... like a weird kind of oriental gift shop where he finds a mogwai. The guy doesn't want to sell it to him, so the boy, thinking that the grandfather needs the money, actually sells him the Mogwai, and gives him the special rules to where he takes it to his son to give it to him for Christmas. And boy, is this thing cute. But you have to remember the three rules. Th three rules is you can't get him wet, you can't expose him to bright light or else it'll kill him, and whatever you do, don't feed him past 12 o'clock midnight. Yeah. Well, either on purpose or by accident, the Mogwai gets exposed, gets wet, or they get fed after midnight, and they start reproducing into these other little Mogwais. Well, when it happens again, they turn into gremlins, these little nasty creatures who like to wreak havoc and pretty much kill anything in their path. While having fun. This is a, a very interesting film. Uh, one that I actually love. It, I didn't like it as much growing up. Because like I said. I, I wasn't really much into horror comedies as a kid. But this has a perfect Christmas feel. It really does. And I think as I've gotten older. I've sort of softened. As to the cuteness of the Mogwai. It's a fun family film that turns into an adult horror film. <laughs> and to believe believe it or not, there were three movies that were directly that directly contributed to the PG thirteen rating that we have now in today's society. One was Gremlins, two was Conan the Destroyer, and three was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. All three were considered incredibly violent and bloody but not quite R-rated material. And that gave us the PG-13 rating. And the first PG-13 rating, rated film was Red Dawn, which I actually saw in the theaters. And loved. Gremlins used to be one that I would watch when I was with my cousins or with my family friends. It's something to just put on around Christmas time and have a good time with it. I never really considered it that scary, but I do remember one time uh, family friends were over and we were watching Empire Strikes Back and then we were watching um, Gremlins and one of the littler kids did get scared by the Gremlins. Pretty bad, actually. So that's kind of when I figured, hey, this is kind of a horror movie in some ways because I didn't really consider it that when I was younger. Yeah, this came out in 84, 
I was 13 at the time, so stuff like this didn't bother me anyway. I was already watching Dawn of the Dead and Friday the 13th, so this was kind of like almost like a kiddie movie to me at that at that point. But boy, do I love this film now. Now, of course, my rating system, which I explained in the last video, is 1 through 10. And I gave this one a 9. And that is 9 Slaughtered Elves. Check in for day 3. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.